G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince today. I'm super super keen. This is the sixth movie. I've just watched five of them all the way through in the last week or so and it's just been so much fun. I just haven't wanted to stop watching these movies. The only reason I haven't binged them is because I'm doing them for the channel. <laughs> I would honestly watch these back to back if I really could. I don't know where it's going to go. That's what's so interesting about them the way the last movie left things. Um, you know, so the, the school's been returned to its former glory. Dumbledore's reinstated and Umbridge, that evil woman, is gone. <laughs> we got a showdown between Dumbledore and Voldemort, and that was pretty epic. So I'm really interested to see how this movie goes. How are they going to defeat Voldemort? We've got three movies, three movies to see, which is so interesting because I feel like we're at the climax of the series, but we've got so much runtime left, and I'm not disappointed. I'm super keen to see some more Harry Potter. Anyway, just a quick reminder again, these are from Patreon, so if you want to watch the full movies with me and others on Patreon, then go do that. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Here we go, even darker this time. I feel like the last couple haven't got necessarily darker, perhaps, but different settings, you know, like this is in the clouds. He's back. Oh, poor Harry, yeah. All this grief he has to go through now. Yeah, don't you dare leave his side, Dumbledore. <laughs> he needs emotional support. How much of these movies affect the muggle world? Oh, no thanks. <laughs> Oh, is this what it's like for muggles? Don't kill the people! What's the point? He's Harry Potter. Bit of a toss already. I was wondering. Eleven. That's when I get off. You can tell me all about that toss of Harry Potter. Harry's got that wizard riz. <laughs> Either that, or she's meant to be there. <laughs> oh, Dumbledore. I was scared it was going to be someone bad. Take my arm. Do as I say. Oh, poor Harry. Just wants to live a normal life. <laughs> Gosh, those animations. <laughs> I assume right about now you must be wondering why I brought you here. After all these years, I just sort of go with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Merlin's beard! You need to disfigure me, Elvis. Oh. <laughs> I'd like you to meet an old friend and colleague of mine, Horace Slughorn. Hi. The Death Eaters have been trying to recruit me for over a year. Do you know what that's like? I think we should put it back in order for them, don't you? Oh, there's no way. Can they just put it all back together? Oh, that's so freaking awesome. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's some sort of spell that's not necessarily making things better. It's more reversing the damage. I love scenes like that in these movies. Your mother was one of my absolute favorites. Oh wow, they were close. I taught the whole black family, except Sirius is a shame. Poor Sirius. I know a lost cause when I see one. Regrettable. You considered it a great personal triumph and you consented to return to Hogwarts. Damn, that was his strategy. Oh, now he has to go back. <laughs> All right, I'll do it. I expect a raise. These are mad times we live in, mad. For real, Hogwarts is dangerous. <laughs> You are talented, famous, and powerful. Everything Horace values. You would be his crowning jewel. Right, so he went to the toilet long enough for him to get to know Harry. Okay. <laughs> now he's gonna throw up. <laughs> oh, it must be the Weasleys. Ginny! <laughs> Harry, Harry who? Harry Potter, of course. <laughs> Harry. Someone say Harry. Guys. Is that now I heard? You have a Mighty! This is such a cool shot. Oh, come on, come on. Why didn't you let us know you were coming? Dumbledore. Oh. <laughs> I love the Weasleys. Got a bit of toothpaste. Oh, mate, everyone's getting close and personal. <laughs> Even my parents, their muggles know something bad's happening. Totally fair. It's Dumbledore. What could be safer? Dumbledore's got a bit old. He's only, what is he? 150? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mate, was that meant to be a joke? How old is he actually? Oh man. The Dark Lord told you. I've played my part well, so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. Dang it. I kind of liked him too. He's just a boy. Might be possible for me to help Draco. Make the unbreakable vow. 
Oh, shoot. Severus Snape, watch over Draco as he attempts to fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. If Draco should fail, you yourself carry out the deed. I will. Far out, mate. Oh, and it leaves the mark, too. Oh. So Draco's being roped into all of this. I I'm sorry, but I do feel a little sorry for Draco. I feel like he is a victim to the place he's been raised. I will have order. <laughs> yes, that's fantastic. They're making fun of her now. Are you not currently dating Dean Thomas? Oh, it's none of your business. Dang. Now do Draco and Mummy look like two people who don't want to be followed? <laughs> They sure do. Far out. Oh, is this a full-on Death Eater meeting? Stop moving around, boys! <laughs> Dang it. Totally makes sense why they're Gryffindors. What's a Raxbat? They're invisible creatures. They float in your ears and make your brain go fuzzy. Quibbler! No thanks. <laughs> I like Luna. She seems so sweet. But also a little bit strange, but in the best way, you know? Really interesting. It was a ceremony. An initiation. Stop it, Harry. Harry is under the impression Draco Malfoy is now a Death Eater. One hundred percent. His father is a Death Eater. It only makes sense. I told you. I don't know what I saw. Guys, he'll be more useful in the school. That's why they asked him to help, right? Isn't that obvious? They need someone on the inside. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Damn, Harry. It's great seeing Harry just take the initiative and stuff like this. Let's just see. I don't think you'll see me wasting my time in charms class next year. Amused, mm. Blaze. See just who's laughing in the end. Draco seems a lot harder, like, you know, like emotionally. You two go on. Didn't mummy ever tell you it was rude to eavesdrop, Potter? Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, dude. Damn, Draco bested him and kicked him while he was paralyzed. Damn. Ah, oh, Luna, thank you. Save our boy. And me, hey. I love her that much more for this. <laughs> Experts, your head's full of them. It's like being with a friend. I am your friend, Luna. That's nice. <laughs> I can vouch for Mr. Malfoy. Yes, Nape's in on it. Nice face, Potter. <laughs> So rude. Can you do a spell that like fix a broken nose? Would you like me to fix it for you? <laughs> there you go. Pisky. Ah. Oh. Oh. How do I look? Exceptionally ordinary. Such a would be such an interesting friend to have. <laughs> the newest member of our staff, Horace Stubborn. <laughs> Welcome. Host of Defense Against the Dark Arts by Professor Snape. There we go. Finally got the role he wanted. Tom Riddle. He's known all over the world by another name. I'm reminded of a sobering fact. Dark forces attempt to penetrate this castle's wall. Like Draco? Their greatest weapon is you. Now off to bed. Pip pip. You can feel the responsibility though weighing down Draco. Look at him. Poor kid. I haven't actually got my book yet and all's wrong. Very good. What do you want from the cupboard? Serum. It's a truth. Oh, a good or bad book. And that <laughs> <laughs> My gosh, boys. It's terribly tricky. That's hilarious. The most powerful love potion in the world. Well, I smell freshly mown grass and spearmint. Really fresh, natural things. Felix Felicis. Liquid luck. Yes, Miss Granger. Liquid luck. Desperately tricky to make. Disastrous should you get it wrong. All of your endeavors succeed. Wait, <laughs> he Draco's interested. Is that girl to the right in The Witcher? But she's a redhead. Good luck to you all. Let the brewing commence. Damn, all right. We've got a little competition on our hands. Goodness me. Dang, so his old book has... Oh, okay. The instructions specifically say to cut. No, uh, really. Yeah, that's hilarious. So he's got a book that's just telling him all the cheats. <laughs> Harry's so lucky to have gotten that book. Oh, look at Hermione. She looks like she's going insane from this. Dang, so someone was really gifted at this. She's perfect. 
So perfect, I dare say one drop would kill us all. I'll be honest. One vial of Felix Felicis. Use it well. Don't use it well, use it wisely. So the Half-Blood Prince did that. Professor Slughorn is most impressed with you. I think he overestimates my ability, sir. He does. <laughs> Spend a great deal of time with Miss Granger. No, no. I mean, she's brilliant and we're friends. No. Forgive right. me. They would be a powerful couple, though, wouldn't they? We're looking at her memories. Voldemort. This file contains the most particular memory. The day I first met him, I'd like you to see it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, it must be so interesting to be Harry Potter. <laughs> Just have the headmaster take you into his memories. Oh, this is so cool. It's interesting the way it moves, like Death Eaters doing that thing. In all the years Tom's been here, he's never once had a family visitor. Oh, he was an orphan. <laughs> they think I'm different. <laughs> Hogwarts is a school. You can do things, can't you, Tom? I can make things move without touching them. I can make bad things happen to people who are mean to me. I can make them hurt. <laughs> that smile he got. At Hogwarts, you'll be taught not only how to use magic, how to control it. Yikes, mate. Look at this kid. He already looks half evil. Mate, he already looked sus when he was young. It's like parallels between him and Anakin. Did I know I just met the most dangerous dark wizard of all time? No. <laughs> no. Tom Riddle grew close to one particular teacher. You didn't bring Professor Slughorn back simply to teach potions, did you, sir? You said Professor Slughorn will try to collect me. Do you want me to let him? Damn. Yes. Wow. The way Harry anticipates what Dumbledore is going to ask of him. I want you to get close and get info from him. So that book must have been Tom Riddle's then, right? Of course he has an apple. What is it with characters that are holding a green apple? They just always give bad vibes. Ooh. That looked like the thing that was in the Dead Death Eater meeting. For a few drills just to assess your strengths. Please. Guys. Shut it! <laughs> Hell yeah, Ginny. Yeah, I'll be going after Keeper as well. It's something personal. Keepers need to be quick. Agile. I like my chances. I think you could introduce me to your friend Granger. Ew. Getting on a first name basis, know what I mean? The guy looks at least two, three years older than him. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Ron. Ew, stop. Yeah, come on, Ron. Hell yeah. Ha ha ha. Hell yeah. Hermione chose Ron. <laughs> His methods aren't as showy, but he's still good. Oh my god. And if you had a shred of self-respect, you'd hand that book in. It's even better than you, Hermione. Not helpful. <laughs> I'd like to know whose that book was. No. Oh. <laughs> it's Half-Blood Prince. Who? That's what it says right here. Imagine calling yourself the Half-Blood Prince <laughs> instead of just your normal name. Three butterbeers and some ginger in mine, please. It must be nice to have so much space at the school you stay at. Oh, oh bloody hell. Well, they're only holding hands. Damn, Ginny. That happens to be my sister. So? If she looked over here and saw you snogging me, would you expect her to get up and leave? Hey, my... <laughs> just the idea is like, whoa. <laughs> I can remember when it was one broomstick. <laughs> I used to throw together the occasional supper party. Would you be game? Uh, I'd consider it an honor, sir. Damn. You'd be welcome too, Granger. <laughs> Not you, Rod. <laughs> Good to see you, Wallenby. <laughs> Poor Ron. A little bit. <laughs> oh, you okay? Oh, she got really embarrassed from that. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Hey! What the heck? Jeez! Get back, all of you! That was like a possession. What did she touch? She said it was important that she deliver it to Professor Dumbledore. Oh, was Dumbledore meant to touch it? 
Why is it when something happens, it is always you three? <laughs> yep. Believe me, Professor, I've been asking myself the same question for six years. For real? It's always accidental. If she was delivering that to Professor Dumbledore, she wasn't doing it knowingly. It was Malfoy. Damn. Your evidence? Once again, you astonish with your gifts, Potter. Gifts mere mortals can only dream of. How grand it must be to be the chosen one. Whoa. That was defensive. Even McGonagall's like, oh, chill, like what? <laughs> he was running his hands all over my sister, wasn't he? You've got to hate him, you know? I suppose. <laughs> so what is it he sees in her? She's smart, funny, attractive. <laughs> there we go. He's got nice skin. Mine has got nice skin. Aww. Come on, boys. I think I'll be going to sleep now. Dang it! Oh, You're having a really good conversation. Me and my brother used to stay up for hours. Ah! Miss Weasley, come in, come in. Oh, Ginny must have known he was going to be here. They've been fighting again, her and Dean. I'm not usually lit. Oh, shoot. Harry? It's cool seeing Neville there. He must have been pretty good. <laughs> Ew, stop staring and that thinks. <laughs> when I first met young Mr. Riddle, he was a quiet, brilliant boy committed to becoming a first-rate wizard. The monster existed. It was buried deep within. I doubt it. The guy was suspicious when he was even younger. I'm counting on you, Ron. I have two guardians on Gryffindor, yeah? Who's that? What the heck? Slughorn's having Christmas too, you know. I expect you'll be bringing McLaggen. Actually, I was going to ask you. I know you'll be brilliant. <laughs> you look dreadful, Ron. Oh. Is that why you put something in his cup? Look with oh. luck. Drink it, Ron. You'll want it. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yeah. I love how he tried to sneak it in, though. Come on, Harry. We've got a game to win. <laughs> yes, come on, Rod, please. Damn. Come on. <laughs> She's like this guy. I wonder if just drinking a potion you think gives you luck would actually make you have more luck because you're more confident. Damn, Ron. Didn't put it in. I only thought you did. Oh my gosh! Yes! Oh. Oh, Hermione. Dang. Harry, use your intuition and try to help this situation. It's a shame though, because Hermione's really only understanding her feelings now. How does it feel, Harry, when you see Dean with Ginny? Yeah, she knows. I know. I see the way you look at her. I think this room's taken. No, Ron. Oh, damn. Gosh. Oh, gosh, man. You can't blame them all, though. They're just kids yeah. still. It's interesting, though, because... Hermione's being much more vulnerable with her emotions. Harry seems to suppress how upset he is about it more. Yeah, that girl's been after Ron for ages. <laughs> I think Ron just likes the fact that he's, you know, he's being recognized, you know? Like people have been saying in the comments that he kind of wants recognition because of his upbringing. You know, whether it's winning a game or being kissed by a girl, I think it's all, you know, for the same reason, right? That's from Milda Vane. Apparently she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. What? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Someone cool. Yes. Yes. She is so cool. <laughs> oh, shoot. Did he send it somewhere? Left Cormac under the mistletoe. Cormac? Oh. That's who you invited. That would annoy Ron the most. Oh. <laughs> After telling Harry not to go with the other girl. Keep it in minx, your friend. Yeah, yeah. And he's so gross. What is this for me to mother? Dragon balls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, dude. He's not going to forgive you for that. You just bought yourself a month's detention. Damn. <laughs> From Professor Dumbledore. He asked me to give you his best. He's traveling. Oh, Travelling where? Yeah. How are you? 
<laughs> what? Oh my gosh, this guy is so odd. <laughs> I don't need protection. I won't fail him. You're afraid, Draco. Yeah, he's always been afraid. That's why he has that facade, right? That's why he wants to do this mission well, right? Whatever it is. <sighs> oh, here we go. Honestly impressive she's able to do it backwards from her point of view. Oh, Hermione. Take the hints, bro. It does look like Ron's kind of aware, though, that there's something going on. Dumbledore trusts Snape, therefore I do. We could only place our trust in a handful of people. Yeah, that's a that's a tough one, right? Has Dumbledore got it handled? Or is Snape actually... <laughs> Ginny's dad's like, I better leave. Open up, you. Oh my gosh, what? Don't you trust me? That was the most awkward bite I've ever seen. Stop. <laughs> Gosh. Ron. I mean, it already felt awkward. The object that Draco is so interested in is a vanishing cabinet. Go on. It could transport you practically anywhere. What happened to it? The one at Borgen and Burke's. It's still there. So they've got a direct way of getting between Hogwarts and that place. Damn, that's sketchy as. So they could be inside Hogwarts at any point. Sweet. Together. Oh, that's adorable. Oh boy. Shoelace. Uh. Merry Christmas. God damn it. Oh, oh shoot. Okay. Oh god. Not this girl. He sensed it. Harry, no! No, 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 dude, dude, that's what she wants, bro. Ginny! Oh. Whoa! Oh, God, she's horrible, isn't she? I'm glad Ginny's powerful at this point. Super oh, Dang, so they tried to ambush them. They're so vulnerable in the open like that. Oh no! Is everyone okay though? Damn. It's so easy for them to get to you. Bloody lucky you weren't killed. For real. Sir. <laughs> no matter what age the actor is playing him, he always looks suspicious. I couldn't think of anyone else to go to. They're not like you. I was in the library the other night, a restricted section. It's something rather odd about a bit of rare magic. Uh -huh. Get out of here at once and don't let me ever get your magic again! Whoa. This memory has been tampered with. Why would he tamper with his own memory? He's ashamed of it. I want you to persuade him to divulge his true memory. I don't know him that well, sir. Yeah, it's been like half a year though now, right? You must not fail. <laughs> Damn. If things are left a chance, use the luck potion. You see, the other day I was in the library, in the restricted section, and I came across something rather odd. Oh, he asked him the same way. Yeah. This is sketchy. Myself, I always strive to live within the light. Is that what you told Tom Riddle, sir, when he came asking questions? Careful. Dumbledore put you up to this, didn't he? Damn. Yeah, it was, came on too strong. Ron? It's beautiful, isn't it? The moon. Oh, love oh. potion. It was on your bed, the box. I just thought I'd try one. The girl left it for him. I think I love her. <laughs> it's actually adorable seeing Ron like this, though. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. I wouldn't bother you if it weren't absolutely essential. Very powerful love potion. Ah, uh, mm. smart. <laughs> Gosh, Ron. Bottoms up. What's this? Tonic for the nerves. Yeah. What happened to me? Love potion. <laughs> I feel really bad. You need to pick me up, my boy. Right, so does the spell actually counter it and go further? Yeah. Like you feel negative? To life! <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> Dude! I don't understand! Run! Come on, run, breathe. God. 
Oh, God. These girls, they're gonna kill me. <laughs> For real. Why didn't the teachers jump in and help us quickly? Quick thinking on your part, Harry, using a bazaar. Very proud of your student, Horace. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't remember who gave you this bottle. Diluted with poison. Actually, I had intended to give it as a gift myself. To you? To you, Headmaster. Wow. That's horrible. Ah, see? He senses my presence. The teachers are just like, what the heck? I'm here. Harris, my name. Oh, my name. My name. Yes! Go away. Hermione's the chosen one. <laughs> oh, to be young and to feel love's keen stings, the Weasley's well tended. Oh, that's adorable. About time, don't you think? Oh, please stay together, though. Oh, shut up. Please wake up and see Hermione there and be like, I love you. <laughs> so has it been Draco that's been trying to get things inside to kill Dumbledore? Is that what's going on? Yeah, so who's on the other end? Oh, shoot. Is that like a, like a sign or some sort of symbol for you're not doing well? Yeah, yeah of course she's crazy. You don't remember anything from that night. Oh. I was completely boggled, wasn't I? Run. Oh. Damn it. They really had to drag this out further, did they? I've been trying to remember, honestly. I'm glad she's okay, though. Ooh. Yeah, it was him, for sure. It'd have to be, right? <sighs> yeah, the pressure's getting to him. You hexed her, didn't you? <laughs> Gee, whoa! <laughs> what was that spell? <laughs> Oh God, what's happening to him? Heal him. Yeah. Was that spell like shooting someone with a shotgun? You know, as it just like sprays a little bit? Take my hand. Oh, shoot. Right, so the whole situation was making him more hostile opposed to defensive. We need to hide the Half-Blood Prince's book. No one will ever find it, including you. <laughs> what, Harry couldn't do it himself? Or just Ginny? Nah, this is a date. <laughs> Close your eyes. That way you can't be tempted. Close your eyes. <laughs> Gee, what made her decide so suddenly to pursue Harry like this? Yep. I can stay hidden up here too if you like. <laughs> Well, that was uh, a little romantic. Still no luck with Slughorn, then, I take it. That's it. All I need is a bit of luck. Ah, yeah, of course, yeah. Great idea. This potion could solve all the mysteries in a matter of hours if they had it each movie. <laughs> How do you feel? Excellent. <laughs> Harry, you've got to go and speak to Slughorn. I've got a really good feeling about Hagrid. It's the place to be. Yeah, it's a luck potion, right? Just trust your instincts. It's telling him to go there. It's meant to be there. <gasps> I'm off to Hagrid, you see. He's a very dear friend and I just fancy paying him a visit. Harry! Hey. Sir. <laughs> well then, by sir. all means, come along, sir. What's with the hunch, too? <laughs> Oh, God. Horace. Is that the same one from Chamber of Secrets? Here is the misunderstood creature spiders are. The eyes, I reckon, they unnerve some folk. Not to mention the pincers. <laughs> For me, it's the legs. Would you like me to say a few words? Head of family, I trust? Oh, yeah. Ah, Harry would know. They got chased by him. <laughs> Farewell. Aragog, king of the arachnids. Your body will decay. Your spirit lingers on. That was cute. Uh, <laughs> <nah>. <laughs> He's so enthusiastic. I love it. Damn. He out. On spring afternoon, I discovered a bowl on my desk. Floating on the surface was a flower petal. It sank just before it reached the bottom. It's transformed. 
to a wee fish. It was beautiful magic. Mm. The flower petal had come from a lily, your mother. Oh. I know why you're here. Do you know why I survived, Professor? Because of her. Because she sacrificed herself. She refused to step aside. Be brave, Professor. He's riddled with fear. Be brave like my mother. Wow. It's like he didn't need luck, he just needed to inspire him. Speak to him, to his heart. It's beautiful, honestly. Good on you, buddy. Good on you. Aw, oh, Harry. Alright, finally, let's go. It's called, as I understand it, a Horcrux. Horcrux. A Horcrux is an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. One splits one's soul and hides part of it in an object. In doing so, you are protected should you be attacked and your body destroyed. In other words, you cannot die. Damn! How does one split his soul? Murder. Killing rips the soul apart. Can you only split the soul? Once. Seven. Seven? Gee. This is all hypothetical, isn't it, Tom? Uh, no. Of course, sir. That's insane. He was that young planning this. No wonder he feels guilty about it. And that's why he couldn't die. So how the hell are they going to kill him then? <laughs> what are they exactly? Could be anything. A ring, for example. Oh. Or a book. He, that was a Horcrux? If you could find them all, if you did destroy each Horcrux. One destroys Voldemort. <laughs> they could be hidden anywhere, couldn't they? Okay. I think perhaps I may have found another. I cannot hope to destroy it alone. I must ask too much of you, Harry. Damn, all right. I don't want to do this anymore. I will not negotiate with your Severus. Ooh. I can't tell whether he's on Dumbledore's side or Voldemort's. I forget how much you've grown. You must obey every command I give you without question. Oh, 100%. <laughs> your word, Harry. Yeah. My word. Crazy trust exercise. Take my arm. I thought you couldn't operate within Hogwarts. Being me, has its privileges. <laughs> yeah, he can do what he wants. <laughs> mate. All right. It just got interesting, mate. Whoa. This is in that photo that he saw when in his memory, right? He will put certain defenses in position. That's cool. You can just throw light like that. <laughs> it's a shame those things can't illuminate an entire room. Oh. <laughs> Oh, damn. Uh, hello? There are people under there. What the heck? You good? To be drunk. All of it. The potion might paralyze me. Might make me forget why I'm here. Might cause me so much pain that I beg for relief. It's your job, Harry, to make sure I keep drinking this potion. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's insane. Professor. <gasps> Professor. What the heck is happening to him? Oh, and he has to keep drinking. You have to keep drinking. Poor Dumbledore, man. What an absolute trooper. Kill me! Oh, this is horrible, man. Seeing him suffer like this. What an absolute legend. Nice, nice. Water. There we go, that looks fresh. Wait, what? Oh, that's BS. <laughs> Can you do the spell but in his mouth? Just have the water just fill up his mouth. <laughs> oh no, not that water, man. That, no, 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 don't do it, don't do it. They've been alluding to the fact that you can't touch this water. <laughs> don't, Harry. Oh, gosh. Lumos Maxima. Oh my god. <sighs> Get him his wand! God, this is creepy. God, this is a nightmare. Oh, that's horrible. That's so creepy. Oh, shoot. Oh, god damn. Damn, he's powerful. Holy moly. <laughs> Don't cross paths with Dumbledore if you can just whip up an inferno. 
Yeah, there we go. Oh gosh, man. Yep. This ain't good. Severus is who I need. Hide yourself below, Harry. Don't speak or be seen by anybody without my permission. Harry, do as I say. Damn, okay. Trust me. Gosh. Draco, you are no assassin. How do you know what I am? I was chosen! Damn, he really was initiated. I shall make it easy for you. It's my honest! Very good. Oh, he's being so encouraging. Please let me help you. I don't want your help. Oh, Draco. Don't you understand? I have to kill you. He's gonna kill me. Oh, it's so sad. Well done, Draco. Oh, he's so torn. Do it. This is your moment. Go on, Draco. Oh, is he with? Oh, is he with Dumbledore? Severus, please. How about a cadaver? <laughs> So evil, man. And there's no way Dumbledore made a Horcrux either because he wouldn't kill someone to do it. Gosh. You coward, fight back! Go away, Bellatrix. Use my own spells against me. I'm the half blood prince. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Damn it. It's it's so unfair because oh, he, all he wanted was to protect the students. Can someone please get him off the ground? Yeah, get rid of that thing. Poor Harry, he was just told to trust him, despite seeing all that happen. Oh, thank God, I thought that was, I thought it was gonna cut to the end. If you should have the need to talk to someone, Aww. you should know you meant a great deal to him. Aww. It was always Snape, it was fake. What? To the Dark Lord, but I want you to know that it was I who discovered your secret. I've stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it as soon as I can. Hope that when you meet your match, you will be mortal once more. It means it was all a waste. <sighs> We're not coming back, Hermione. Got to finish whatever Dumbledore started. Harry, you're gonna do it together. Sometimes you can be really thick. Yeah. <laughs> Don't really think you're going to be able to find all those Horcruxes by yourself. You need us, Harry. You've done everything up to this point together, the three of you. I didn't realize how beautiful this place was. Oh, that's right, it's Phoenix. Yeah, I know, what a gorgeous view. So what, we got a treasure hunt now? What a sad way to end the movie, though. I feel really, just really off put, you know? I mean, I know that's the point, but far out. Yeah, it's, it's hard to really talk about how I feel at the moment with that. It's just ended so on a sad note, you know. Oh, gosh, man, that's it. Dumbledore's dead. It's really hard to process, especially because at the start of the movie, they, the kids were talking about not going back to Hogwarts because their parents thought it wasn't safe anymore. And they said they think Dumbledore is getting too old and... They were basically like nonsense. It's always going to be safe at Hogwarts because we have Dumbledore. And for the movie to end with him not being able to help them anymore, it's just such a sad reality now that they have to face that they they are on their own. Those kids. I felt like throughout most of these movies, as much as there has been real danger and real stakes, up until this point. There's always been some sort of net of safety because Dumbledore has been around um, and now he's gone and uh, it really feels like things are a little bit hopeless at the moment. But that being said, I think they're still capable of finding these Horcruxes to take out Voldemort 
but damn, dude. I didn't see the whole Snape thing coming. Like, I know that they were building it up, you know, for him to be like, oh, maybe he's working for Voldemort, but maybe he's with Dumbledore and he's faking it. But I didn't know which side he was faking. I don't know. I'm just generally surprised because I felt like the obvious choice would have made him be a double agent for Dumbledore because as a audience, we kind of assume because he's so slippery and so kind of like, um, you know, he has a sort of demeanor about him where he, or he feels evil, um, but he has like hints of good that he's done throughout the series. I always thought that that was preparing us for like a twist, you know, for him to be actually um, a good guy. But no, he just fit the, he fit the bill, you know, he was evil. And I, I thought that Tom Riddle was the Half-Blood Prince, um, but no, it was, it was Snape. Yeah, it's just, you know, re really sad. I thought that um, Harry was learning those spells from Tom Riddle because he was such a prodigy. But he was learning them from Snape. Snape was the one who figured out all of it. He was the potions prodigy, um, which is super interesting. They did kind of try to trick us like that, the audience members. There was a lot of um, stuff in the middle of the movie that happened that had nothing to do with the... Um, the overall story, right? Like, you had the whole thing with Hermione and Ron going on. Um, R Ron, you know, basically having that chick all over him. And then for Hermione to, you know, eventually have Ron say say to her on his, um, on the bed, right, Hermione, that was a nice touch. But, um, as much as I'm annoyed that they're not together yet, it's, I, I'm more excited for it because of kind of, drawn it out longer now it's like we know that they're meant to be together now we want them to be together but they're not yet it's kind of it leaves things up to chance in the next two movies um but the whole thing with harry and Ginny is interesting um yeah i mean i guess in the earlier movies their age gap felt a lot larger right because you're growing a lot faster and i think Ginny was a lot smaller than Harry but in this movie she like looks like she could be his age <laughs> which came out of the left field for me um and then you know Ginny just out of nowhere after being with um you know a couple guys she's like all right I'm gonna pursue Harry now and she just took the initiative and just you know made moves real quick and I just it took took me off guard I was like why did you just decide now to, to do to do that but yeah maybe they could have handled those scenes better with Ginny and Harry I don't know I just felt like maybe their chemistry could have been a little bit better that's just me I'm glad they're together I just feel like a couple of those moments were a little bit awkward but hey I think that's life though right you can be meant for someone and have moments with people that are a little bit awkward and you just have to laugh about it in hindsight and you know just enjoy the fact that you're together but yeah no i'm liking where the movies are going but i just feel like it definitely left things on a low note for me like it just you know because dumbledore died i feel sad right now um but what's also interesting to me is the whole conflict with draco because i think um we've seen draco basically be horrible for most of the series right but now we're getting to see almost a side of him of that's good, that's very conflicted with the bad, which was, um, it kind of came out of nowhere. He, he felt very, not two dimensional, but he felt like very simple um, in terms of he was the bully, right? He came from a rich family, he just felt very pompous. But now in this movie, you could really see the subtext. You could really see that he was struggling, right? That he was actually a good person that's, basically being a victim to being raised in a family that encourages that pure blood whatever stuff and um you know he's just been really influenced by his father i think particularly and um now he's in this position where he had to essentially kill um dumbledore and he just couldn't do it like because i think there is still good in him um that's not saying i like him i'm just i'm just finding it interesting that there is good a good side to him that we're getting to see a little bit more now, despite the fact he has been so horrible. Um, but yeah, it makes his character more interesting. So I'm interested to see what happens with Draco in the next two movies now that he's a Death Eater, but he has a side that of him that's good, that's conflicting with it, um, which is super interesting. Um, now I'm seeing a lot more parallels between Voldemort and, um, this is going to sound strange, but uh, Sauron. 
<laughs> um, the whole Horcrux thing and the fact that he's died before and now he's come back. Um, very similar to Sauron. Uh, I couldn't help but see the similarities there. It's like the Ring of Power is, you know, a Horcrux or something. I'm always going to see the Ring of Power now when I watch Lord of the Rings and be like, that's a Horcrux. Um, but yeah, anyway, I enjoyed myself. I hope you guys did too. Please like and subscribe and I will see you very, very soon. Stay cozy.